Salama pagi. I hope everyone is doing well and yeah, another video and in this video I'm going to talk about my first impression in Java, Indonesia because in Indonesia there's so many islands, there's so many different cultures, so many different languages, people come in all different colors and shapes as well so yeah it's very complex that's one thing I realized and I've seen a lot as well like in the comments where if you're talking about um bali or you just talking about your favorite country and you mention bali you don't mention indonesia people really get defensive about it they always say bali is part of indonesia indonesia is the yeah it's the country and bali isn't a country so but in this video here i'm just going to talk about the people the japanese japanese people that i came across whilst living in tangaran city So as you may already know, like um, um, in Java, majority of the people are Muslim. So as you're walking around, you see most of the women wearing hijabs. Not all of them, but most of them, they'll be wearing hijabs. Uh, when it comes to burqa, um, they're not really, you don't really see too many wearing burqa or anything like that. But I think most is either hijabs or no hijab. And one thing I'm, I must say about about the hijabs in java it's like really stylish it becomes i feel like anyway it becomes more like a fashion statement stylish type of thing i'll show you some videos as well where there's a fashion show like it was uh, like an islamic uh, fashion show and some of the women there that like, really dressed really nice some of the styles that they had on and everything like that was looking really stylish And when it comes to the men uh, regarding dress, dress, dress sense, um, that relates to the to, to the religion. You don't really see most of the guys wearing anything that's religious or anything like that. Most of the guys, you just see them uh, wearing jeans. Um, yeah, jeans. But one thing that I did realize in um, Java is a lot of people don't really show their elbows and the knees. So most of the times you see they cover up their elbows and they cover up their knees so most of the guys you see them in jeans and yeah someone <sighs> my battery just cut off again i'm really having some serious issues with these batteries hopefully this one is like the proper main one for the panasonic hopefully this one lasts a bit longer but yeah like i was saying like most of the guys they just wear whatever they want to wear but and uh, when you are in um, Jakarta, Tangwan City, where I was, you didn't really see a lot of guys wearing, um, showing the knees or showing the elbows for most of the people, they were covering it up. And another thing as well, like, um, I just feel like people from Indonesia, one of the things they're most proud of is the trains, because I posted a video of me going from Jakarta to Banong City, and I used a, or oh, I bought a ticket which wasn't like a, um, um, premium ticket or a, a high-speed train or anything like that. It was, it was a slower train, and some of the comments that I was seeing and receiving was kind of crazy. And people were just saying that you should have. It wasn't even premium. I was on a budget. Or I didn't have no money. This and that. And I just think to myself, you know, when I was trying to book the ticket, and the only available tickets that I saw for the time and day and the website, I will put the name on the website that I saw as well. Like I just went on Google. I typed in Jakarta to Bandung and train as well and yeah this is the only thing that came up first and I booked it from there I didn't know about this um, high speed train or anything like that and the people yeah they came on to me like crazy as well but on the way back to um, Jakarta I did use the I did get on I was on the same train but the seats they were just a bit different it was more like the people say more luxurious so yeah just to show you guys that I can pay a little bit extra 
<laughs> for a better standard of seats. And this train um, for this upgraded seats it cost me like hundred and no two hundred and two hundred thousand rupiah, and the 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 budget one cost one hundred and fifty thousand rupiah. So yeah, it's not really a massive difference or anything like that. But I think for the people of Indonesia, yeah, it makes yeah, it's it's life changing for some of these people. So when I was in um, Java, it was during the month of Ramadan and, and I was living just outside and Tang City Mall and during the daytime or before evening, before sunset, when they break the fast, the malls is pretty empty, you know, a lot of people, there's only some women that maybe they're allowed to eat because, you know, some of them, they are um, time, time of the month. So I think that allows them to eat or some of them, if they're pregnant as well, it allows them to eat. Yeah and they're allowed to eat as well but once it's sunset around six o'clock 6 30 tang city is a different place like it is so busy some of the some of the time i used to go there and trying to get something to eat you go to a restaurant they tell you now there's a waiting line you have to write your, your name down you look at the line the line is crazy there were just like too many people and one of the things that i realized is all that i spoke this on, i spoke about this in another video about the bakery, they love bakery over there. That's one thing I realized. Like the bakery, especially one shop, it was called Marco. Um, if yeah, if memory serves me right, I think that's what it's called, Marco. Like this place here, like it was just full of people. Like every single day, like collecting a bunch of donuts. That that the amount of bakery they were eating there, like pastry. I mean, it was in, it was insane. So that's one thing I realized about them. Oh, and they love shopping malls as well, because in Indonesia. Or in Japan um, and Java, there's so many shopping malls, and every single shopping mall I went to is it was fully packed. Some of the days I'll go there, like on a random Tuesday afternoon around one o'clock, and you think to yourself, "What is this Saturday evening or something like that?" Because in the UK, the shopping malls between the hours of ten until maybe three or four, it would be empty. There won't be too many people. It's only after when the school the school kids finish school and um the older people as well finish work that's when everyone is heading off to this um shopping centers and stuff like that but during the weekend yeah it's fully busy but on a weekday in the in, in the uk no it's not too busy but here it doesn't matter what time you go you go there 10 a.m it's packed you go there at 6 p.m it is packed <sighs> it's crazy thing that I really noticed and I really liked and appreciated um, in Java it was how families are so um, close to each other so in the UK most of the times you see even in the house so like when food is ready or maybe when food is ready it's like if you're living in a large family some some people might eat at different times and some people might not even eat and what I feel like here in Java it's like how can I say it? It's like that family tightness is is real. It's still intact. It's still there. It, it feels like old fashion or old times way. Cause now it's all about social media. So some people when they're eating, they're on the phone. They're watching the movie. They're watching this. They're doing this. But when I was there, like people actually set them together, act together, and spend this quality time together. Actually try to enjoy this moment together so it's just something that she's like a dying breed and being in java just seeing it every single day it doesn't matter where you go like you see them with 
the grandkids, the uh, the aunties, the cousins, they're all just there sitting down, just enjoying time together and yeah, eating together. That's one thing that I really appreciated and it was good for me to see as well. Um, so I went to Dago, um, which is in Bandung, and I hope, I wish someone told me about this place because I was only there for like one night, and this place here, it was so scenic, it was so good, like some of the mountains you can see on the background and so peaceful, and some of the restaurants there, that it was so good, I went to one restaurant, I think it was called Sky, um, Sky something, I'll put the name here. And this restaurant here, it was so good, like some of the food that they were offering and the prices as well, like really affordable and really good and the ambience was amazing as well, like this place here, like I really recommend it, it was really nice. So that's one thing that I like about uh, in old Java, it's just the restaurants, some of the restaurants is like, it looks really fancy but the prices in, in there is really good, the quality of the food really good as well, the service really good, the speed all good so that's one thing that i appreciate about um, java it's just the restaurants the the amount of food you can eat for a decent price as well uh, i was getting chubby out there enjoyed my time in Java it was really good um, there's nothing I can say that's really bad or anything like that that really stands out and pe most of the people there speak English as well right? so if you ever need help you can just ask one person and they will to help you and yeah again if you if they can't understand what you're saying just use Google Translator is there and and yeah I forgot to mention as well alcohol I spoke about this in another video but alcohol uh, is not widely available like it is in Bali because in Bali it's majority Hindu and in Java it's majority Muslim so they can't be having alcohol everywhere and, and stuff like that so if you really need alcohol you need to go to like a specialized um, store but you can buy uh, Gojek or grab it all but it costs a little bit more but if you just want to go and buy it downstairs in the shop and not they won't be selling it they won't be available and most of the restaurants that you go to is all like you can't order cocktails, you can't order beer, um, you can only order like um, tea, smoothie, milkshake, yeah, juice, something like that, something really simple. So yeah, just bear that in mind. But apart from that, yeah, there's really nothing else I, I can probably say that's bad and I didn't really enjoy. Uh, I just feel like, yeah, it was just like, people just living to yeah to support the family to because it's still a developing countries so people that are working extra hard yeah and trying to make every little bit count trying to improve the country as well trying to make it better so i'll probably say for me just being there for like a month i'll probably say yeah there's nothing obviously not no country is perfect and and there's some minor issues that they can fix on there, like roads and like uh, I don't know, like traffic is all traffic is crazy, but apart from that, like just normal stuff that you kind of expect when you come to yeah developing countries. So yeah, it's been a good experience. Um, yeah, especially the engagement in the comment section with some of the people. Yeah, talking reckless. <laughs> it's been funny though just to read it all, but yeah, it's been good, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, um, this video. And yeah, I enjoyed my time there. So I'll see you guys next time if I return back again. Like, I'll see you guys again. Thank you so thank you for watching this video. So 
I'll see you in the next one. So goodbye for me.